Shalom. Call hello, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalawam. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that'll be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ayabad from the GMS Mining Camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And um, this lesson today is going to be entitled, Clearly, okay, you can see the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, okay? Clearly, you can see the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, okay? And if you can't see it, it's because you're blinded, man. It's because you are part of the problem, Okay? walking on in gross darkness okay because the earth is being ran in corruption man okay um, righteous judgment don't don't really go go forth here okay and um, you could you could, you can see everywhere you look and, and turn in the earth it's just you know poly crisis man uh, okay. Um, things going on all in the earth. Okay. And um, the powers that be, all right, they're, 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 they're not managing well, man. Okay. The scriptures tell you, okay, let me start with the scripture. This is the book of Job. Okay. Job, the ninth chapter and the 24th verse. It says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So at this present moment, right? That's why things are the way that they are, man. Okay? Because the scriptures tell you when you read Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2, that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Now you tell me if we're rejoicing right now. No. The people are mourning, man. Okay? Inflation. High cost of living. Okay? You got all of this, this chaos going on in the world. Okay, you just look at, I was looking at some um, articles just now. When you read some of those titles, man, okay, I was on Natural News just now. I'm looking, I'm looking over the, the titles of these and the things what they're talking about, man. Okay, um, <laughs> it's just so much, it, it's so much bad. It, it's hard to keep up with, but we got to keep up with it because we are watchmen. We are commanded to watch, okay, but, um, yeah, the people's choice that was on there. Okay? I even didn't get a chance to get the blacklisted news. It's, it's, it's just so much articles. And when you read the title of those articles, you know, that's what kind of gave me uh, the, the spirit to do this lesson. I'm looking at all these crazy titles, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, man. Clearly. All right? Clearly. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. Okay, they not they 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 ain't thinking of the Lord, man. The scriptures say, "Let favor be shown to the wicked." Let me get that scripture. Okay, let me grab that scripture real quick because they have the they have they have the earth to rule right now, and then they, then they, they're not doing it well, man. That's why we need new management. This is um, Isaiah chapter uh, twenty six. Isaiah chapter twenty six. And verse 10, it says, Let favor be showed to the wicked 
Yet, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. See, they ain't going to behold the majesty of the Lord. Okay? Because the scriptures tell you how they exalt the name of our Lord here. When you read Revelation, right? Revelation chapter, what's that, 11 and verse 8. Okay? Um, Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Okay, this is to speak. This is speaking of our people. Okay, uh, uh, not knowing who they are. Okay, not knowing that we were the Israelites, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. And not speaking of the daughter of Babylon, aka America, the place of our captivity. Okay, when we were brought over on cargo slave ships, according to, uh, according to the prophecy of Deuteronomy, the twenty-eighth chapter and the sixty-eighth verse. It says, "Well, also our Lord was crucified, right? Because." The true name of our Lord is Yahweh Shai, okay, in the Hebrew, right? But they told y'all, they gave y'all, uh, they gave y'all this guy with the letter J, okay? And we know that the letter J didn't came, all right, until 1524 by a man called John Trasino. And the Lord walked the earth thousands of years before that, so his name could not be Jesus, all right? The name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Yahweh Shai means he saves or delivers. His name is a Norman Omen, which is Latin for name prediction. His name predicts what he's going to do in the future. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, he's going to save his people. Okay? So ain't no going around it. But the point is, it says, we're also, Revelation chapter 11, and verse 8, and the dead body shall lie in the street of the great city. That's, that's, that's uh, Babylon the Great, right? daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, right? Sodom because you know what goes on here and the sorcery that they push out to the rest of the world. All right, Egypt because it's the, when you read uh, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2, it tells you Egypt is the place of bondage. And this is called spiritual Egypt because, once again, this is the place of our captivity. All right? The book of Baruch 3 and 8 says, Yet this day we are in our captivity with our scattered us for our reproach and for our curse. And made subject to payments according to all the iniquity of our fathers. Right? It says, Well, also our Lord was crucified. How did they crucify the Lord? By exalting his name. Okay? On this side. Okay? We know the Lord was, was crucified, okay, in real life. Okay? But he, he arose. He, res he was resurrected. Right? But this... Uh, this scripture right here, Revelation 11 and verse 8, is talking about how they exalt the name of the Lord, man. Okay? And the Lord tell you himself, okay, the prince of this world cometh that have nothing in him. Let's get that. Okay? Um, that's St. John. St. John. Let's get uh, the book of St. John. St. John, the 14th chapter. St. John, the 14th chapter and the 30th verse. The Lord speaking to the disciples, it says, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and had nothing in me. See? So, they don't have nothing in the Lord, man. That's why they're, 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 um, they're, they're, they're the adversary of the Lord, man. Okay? You see? So the Lord was speaking to the disciples. I'm going to read from 25. It says, These things have I, have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I have leave you. So like it says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This is all red letters. This is our Lord speaking. Yahweh Shai. It says, Ye have heard how I said I how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye would rejoice, because I said I go unto the Father. My Father is greater than I. It says, And now I have told you before it come to pass that when it that when it is come to pass, ye might believe. The point. Verse 30. 
Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, right? Those that run this world, and hath nothing in me, see? So, they ain't going after the ways of the Lord, man, all right? All right? We, we read the scripture earlier, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will they not learn righteousness, man, okay? So, at the end of the day, <clears throat> We, we just, we need the Lord to return to bring righteousness to the earth, man. Okay? And we know that that's a, that's a prophecy that's, that's going to come. Because the words of the Lord is faithful and true. Okay? Alright? So, with all that's going on in the world, we see clearly that, that, that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Because when you look around and you see what's going on, okay? <clears throat> You, 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 if you got eyes to see, man, you see these people walking around in gross darkness. Okay, because they're being, they, 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 they're not seeking after the ways of the Lord to educate themselves spiritually. Okay, to to be able to quench the fiery darts. Okay, because the scriptures tell you how. Let's go to Ephesians. We can end it here in Ephesians. Okay. <clears throat> We wrestle not against. Let's get that scripture. Because this is what's happening in the world, man. A lot of uh, sorcery and witchcraft. Okay? Witches and warlocks. Okay? Um, very busy on the, in the earth on the left hand side, man. And this is why the men of the Lord have to go real hard on the right hand side. Okay? Um. Let's start Ephesians chapter 6. We can end it here. This is the book of Ephesians, the 6th chapter. We're going to jump in here at verse, uh, verse 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Okay? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of, of the darkness of this world, okay? The prince of this world, okay? It says, because remember Esau is the end of this world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, okay? Beginning with our Lord, Yahawashai, because we're going to be joint heirs with our Lord, right? It says, against spiritual wickedness in high places, okay? That's what's happening, man. It says, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, okay, 1144, call on Call Yahweh Shai. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Okay? Because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So you, this is why you have to put on the helmet, man. Okay? It says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, the scriptures. Okay? Verse 18, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And who are the saints, the Israelites, man? And this is how you got to be in this world. Because this world is run, okay, uh, uh, in, a, in a corrupted manner, man. So I'm going I'm to I'm end the lesson there, Lord willing, you're edified, giving all, all the glory and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash. That we honest to the elders and apostles of great Miss Stone, who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing the truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. With that, until the next time, Shalom. <laughs>